Welcome to the Jamming channel where I discuss different topics about my country Jamaica to spread some awareness and positivity. But before we head into the video, quick disclaimer. This video is designated for the completion of my community service for the Donon Park Technical High School. The videos are to create awareness of aspects of my country Jamaica and also spread positivity about my country and are in no way aimed at making profit for the creator. So in this video I will be discussing five endemic animal species found in Jamaica. Jamaica holds many diverse animal life. Jamaica has some 406 known species of amphibians, birds, mammals and reptiles according to figures from the World Conservation Monitoring Center. Of these, 21.2 are endemic, meaning they exist in no other country, and 10.3 are threatened. Most of the animals are endangered because of human interference. The giant swallowtail butterfly. This marvel is the largest butterfly species in the entire Western Hemisphere. It is endemic to Jamaica. The butterfly is named in honor of the Greek poet Homer. Females are larger than males and can have a wingspan of up to 15 centimeters. They are usually dark in color with yellow and blue bands and spots. Males have their scales on their hind wings near the abdomen. These butterflies prefer to dwell in habitats that are remote and undisturbed in wet limestone forests and lower mountain regions like the cockpit country and the Blue and Junker Mountains. The swallowtail butterfly is an icon of national pride and is featured on various postal stamps and the Jamaican $1,000 bill. The Dr. Bird The Dr. Bird also known as the Jamaican Swallowtail Hummingbird, is the national bird of Jamaica. It is one of 300 species of hummingbirds, three of which are found only on this island. The bird's beautiful feathers have no counterpart in the entire bird population, and they produce iridescent color characteristics only found of that family. In addition to these beautiful feathers, the mature male has two long tails which stream behind him when he flies. The stream tail was a popular target for the wild bird trade until the 1960s. Today, it is protected. Populations are widespread at all elevations in Jamaica and since the stream tail readily occupies man-made habitats, habitat loss is not a threat. The Arawaks, native to the islands of Jamaica and its first inhabitants, believed the green hummingbirds were magic. The stunning hummingbird was believed to be a reincarnation of dead souls. How eerie, huh? ABC has supported Jamaica Conservation and Development Trust in its efforts to conserve the island's endemic birds in the Blue and Junker Mountains National Park. This work benefits the streamtail and many other bird species such as the Jamaican blackbird and yellow-billed parrot. The Mango Hummingbird The Jamaican Mango Hummingbird is one of the three endemic hummingbirds that can be found in Jamaica. It is a species of hummingbird in the family Trochilidae. The Jamaican mango is primarily black in color with scattered iridescent colors such as magenta, yellow, and green on its body, especially its crown. Both male and female birds of this species look the same in appearance, with the exception of immature males which have blue throats up until two years of age. The Jamaican mango is generally 11 to 12 centimeters in length. It feeds on nectar of flowering plants and small insects for protein. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests and heavily degraded former forests. Although it has a limited range, it is not considered endangered as its numbers are not decreasing. The 
The Jamaican giant galley wasp is a species of lizard in the Anguidae family. It was endemic to Jamaica. It was last recorded in 1940 with locals reporting unconfirmed sightings. Males measured up to 30 centimeters from their snout to vent with an equally long accompanying tail. It was the largest Celestus on Earth. Its range included the Black River Morass, where it ate fish and fruits. Its population has been ravaged and exterminated by habitat loss, predation by invasive species like mongoose, and hunting by local people who mistakenly considered the lizards to be venomous, are the main threats to Galliwas populations. The Jamaican giant galley wasp has not been reported in over 100 years and has been listed as possibly extinct. The Jamaican boa or yellow snake is a non-venomous boa species endemic to Jamaica with no other subspecies currently recognized. The Jamaican boa is the largest terrestrial predator native to the island, growing at a max length of 2.2 meters with males being larger than females. Males can be told apart from females by the observation of the snake's pelvic spur with males having an enlarged pelvic spur while females have a very small pelvic spur. They have a post-orbital stripe and are two-toned. They are also iridescent. These snakes are not poisonous and they are not aggressive. They feed on birds, bats, rats, lizards, frogs and insects. As they are not venomous, they kill their prey by constricting them, squeezing them to death. These are nocturnal creatures, spending most of their days in rock crevices and sunbathing in the morning on treetops or on rocks. The Jamaican boa species has been declining since the colonization of Jamaica by Europeans, where Europeans introduced alien mammals such as dogs, cats, and mongoose who kill the boas. But habitat destruction and encounters with man also play a big part in the rapid decline in their population. Jamaicans are under the misconception that the snakes are poisonous when they are not and often kill them on sight. So there you go. That's five endemic animal species found in Jamaica. All the species mentioned in this video are protected by the Wildlife Protection Act of 1945, which states that it is illegal to kill, capture, harm, or have in one's possession any living or dead protected species of parts thereof. You can read more about the other species of animals found in Jamaica in a presentation prepared by NEPA. Link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.